Hi guys, Kelex from 99 here, and today I have an overview of the SRC SR4A Dragon. Now, as you can see, nothing much has changed. Um, there are a few tiny little faults with it. Um, the FPS has decreased from 319 to 315 in just under three months, which is not bad really. Um, another little fault. Um, the carrying handle slash side, the rear bolt and screw, just here, has fallen off. I don't know how that's happened, because um, I haven't been that rough with the gun, unless it was just my gun and it was just faulty. But one of the upgrades that I've made is a CQB sight. It's a little shorter. I like the look of it better. Um, it just looks nicer. So that's that. just fits on like that. Like that. So that looks pretty nice. Um, another little fault is the mag. As you can see, just there, uh, the trap door does open a little bit, um, which is fine. It's not a problem. But if you put it in your pouch upside down, some of the BBs will tend to fall out. Another thing is the spin wheel at the bottom. Um, it's a little far in, so either invest in some new gloves or buy a different high cap. There it is, King Arms 350 round high cap. Looks pretty nice. Another alternative is to buy mid caps, but I like high caps. There, it looks pretty nice. Um, it's a little stiff to get out, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, another upgrade that I've made is, as you can see, there's the original battery, 1200 milliamp, 8.4 volt mini Tamiya connection battery. That's what came with it. Amazing rate of fire with this, but I've upgraded, well I haven't upgraded, I've uh, got some more batteries. So here's one, I got it from a friend, 8.4 volt, 1100 milliamp battery, mini Tamiya. Uh, that does the job. And I've also got 1600 milliamp, 8.4 volt from eBay, it's £12, brand new. Um, it's really nice, mini Tamiya, as always. That's a really good thing. Uh, and I've also got a Viper tactical three point sling. I've got this because I wanted to make my gun look Vietnamese for some reason. Um, and so uh, you can put this over your back, and it looks really cool. So that's another pretty good point. Considering that this gun is practically made out of pretty much all plastic apart from the sergeant handle, uh, all the internals, this bit here, trigger guard sorry, um, and, that, and the rail, um, it is really good for the money. It's all stood up to my beatings. I don't really beat it but it's a really good gun, really sturdy, there's no wobble in it at all really. There's a little wobble in the end of the gun, but nothing much. Um, but it's really nice guys, it's a really nice gun if you want to buy it for a starter. I'd really recommend getting it. I would also recommend buying some spare batteries as well. But overall guys, this is a really good gun, really good value for money. Uh, some news for you, I am buying a new gun, it is the Ares G36C, I should be getting it next month, um, so there will be a review on that, I'll have some accessories on it for the review as well, just to show you how customisable G36s are, so that's something to look forward to guys, sorry I haven't made a video in a while, um, I just haven't had the time at the minute, but thanks for watching this guys, please like this, uh, comment what you think, uh, comment what you want me to do next, it's totally up to you but also subscribe. So thanks for watching this guys and I'll see you in my next video.